that go third take because the last one was pretty fast. How you going? I feel like this one needs a bit more explanation. Australia has some pretty fucked uh, internet security laws. I don't know exactly when the first one in this timeline started, but all of Australian telephone uh, communication providers must keep all of their logs for five years under Australian federal law unless requests otherwise to kept on retainer by the Australian Federal Police. That was the first. Two years ago, 2019, they introduced a law that any software that is legally sold in Australia must provide an encryption backdoor, including VPNs, to our intelligence agency, ASIO, Australian Security Intelligence Organisation. These backdoors can be used by anyone with Five Eyes Alliance, Australia, Canada, the UK, the United States, can't remember who else, uh, and basically all that information can be shared. Last year, in 2019, they introduced a cyberbullying law is now illegal to be a troll on the internet, which can be applied to anyone, and have old accounts and so on and so forth who engage in such activity. Basically, you run, the, you run the risk in Australia now. And not only that, but this latest thing is Facebook's response to Australia's internet laws, bullshit, where they are preventing any outside news sources being posted on what they consider a legitimate social media, uh, because they don't like old tech and uh, preventing Australians from sharing the news outside. I called this over a year ago. I have a legal, legal USB device that allows me to access public access television and FM radio, has legal TiVo capabilities. People like me are considering making archives for our friends overseas while that still remains legal. Yeah. Quick follow-up to that video comment. What this social media response is actually doing to uh, add on is all Australian news sources cannot be posted overseas from Australia and no news sources whatsoever can be posted on Facebook. This is a complete media blackout for Australia for anyone who isn't smart enough to go to auto or social media sites. This is a strategic play because if they can, you know, piss off the people who are already sick of Facebook and you know Twitter and all such such to fully embrace alt tech to abandon this platform they'll be able to use this to turn around and say that there is a massive alt-right movement in alt tech and that they're full of force regulations shut down or hostile takeovers so on and so forth that is what this is it is just business <laughs>